the thing I liked about it was that there was, this wasn't just a straightforward new installation. We were adapting what we had working in an existing building and it wasn't a problem. It was easy to work with them. I'm milking 270 cows at the moment. About 25% of that is autumn and the rest is spring calving. We do a small liquid quota as well. Cow, we'd be looking for 13, 1400 gallons uh, and good fats and proteins. So we've been working on the constituents, uh, uh, keeping them up. This parlor here was originally started out as an eight unit and then got extended out to 17 units, had jars, uh, not a comfortable parlour to walk in, in that the pit was too shallow, uh, jars were in the way and it needed updating. So this year we decided to take the bull with the horns and just upgrade this parlour. About 10 years ago we would have expanded a bit and we built uh, another parlour, a summer parlour if you like, uh, away from the yard here. We don't have winter accommodation at that parlour, so this here where we are now is the winter parlour, winter accommodation home yard. Really what we wanted to do is to make it more efficient, speed up the parlour, make it more comfortable. The other thing was for operator comfort really. Guys weren't happy in it, weren't comfortable in it. We had a couple of different options, maybe uh, take out the jars and go with what we had, but uh, the heel of the hunt, the simplest thing was just rip everything out and start from scratch, but not go mad. We wanted to put in a very simple, straightforward parlor. So in some instances, we would have used some secondhand material where possible. Uh, so the budget wasn't too big and um, there's, it's not high tech. We'd like to put in feed to yield, uh, all cluster removal, all that type of thing. Now at some time in the future, any time in the future if we wish to, we can do that. We've left room to do all that. Uh, but that's not what was needed here. We just wanted to revamp, uh, refurbish and come out with a more comfortable, better parlour to work in. Cows settled in very well. The other parlour is a sequential baling parlour. This parlour, I was a little bit worried about whether the cows would actually come in and stand in. They're very comfortable, they're, they're happy to come in. Works well. Working height is good. Anyone milking in the parlour is very pleased with it. They're happy. Easy to wash down, much cleaner than previously. And um, yeah, generally very happy to work with. The other change that we've made on this parlour uh, is that we've put in a variable speed vacuum pump. The power consumption is definitely way down. Uh, we're using roughly 12.5 to 13.5 amps. That's what the motor is drawing. The previous model, it was two vacuum pumps drawing 18 amps each. And I'd expect that to be a big saving, somewhere in the region of 10 to 15%. Local service would be a big thing. Yeah, some of the other manufacturers don't have uh, a presence in the area and service is a big thing. So, uh, yeah, they were very approachable, uh, were able to do it. And uh, when we said there was a, sh a short window to do it in, and we said, right, let's go for it. And we did. And they delivered on time. 